guys, it's Marissa here and today I will be bringing you something a little different from the usual. You know we usually do like reaction videos and you know like reviews and stuff like that but we never do anything that has to deal with like you know beauty and hair. You know I don't really do nothing with hair because I don't know how to do hair. I'm still trying to learn how to do hair. That's why I keep putting on these wigs because um, I don't know how to do my actual hair. So until I learn, you know, we gonna keep it uh, tight with the wigs for now, okay? <laughs> but, you know, I wanted to bring something like in the beauty field for you guys. I have done some makeup videos in the past and I mean, they were okay. But um, today I want to follow a makeup routine by Rihanna. If you know me, I love Rihanna, okay? And I will be following her Vogue makeup routine that she do on a Vogue's YouTube channel. And I decided to do that because I just love her, like I said. <laughs> and I wanted to follow somebody's makeup routine. I thought about Aaliyah J at first, but then I'm like, nah, I want to do Rihanna. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I have like some fancy products. I'm not the best makeup artist, but I can do my makeup better than I do hair. So that's great, right? But before we get into this video, you guys, make sure you give us a like. Well, give us, well, give me a like. <laughs> I'm saying us like Lexi is here. Lexi is not here. But make sure you give me a like and you subscribe to this channel and you comment below any thoughts that you have or what you think about this video. And also make sure you share it with your friends and your family. And oh, watch our ads. Help us grow because we want to like up this production. Like I want my makeup videos to look like, I don't know, like... Who's somebody with like high quality makeup videos? Like Jeffree Star, James Charles. I wanted to look like that. So once you do that, we can get into the video. Oh. Okay, I hope you guys can't really see my lace like that because you see I over plucked this wig and um, usually I'm further back because it's usually me and Lexi recording. So y'all can't really see my lace like that. But you know, we up close and personal. So if you see the lace. You don't see the lace. It's, it's, it's not there, okay? Mm -hmm. Just pretend that it's not there and you don't see it. But y'all probably all see it now because I pointed it out. And when you point things out, then people start noticing it. So you probably see it now. But you don't, okay? Remember, you don't. But let's get into this video. I'm saying this like we about to do a reaction. But I mean, it's kind of like a reaction in a way. <laughs> okay, Riri. No, I look fat. She's so cute. Hey okay, guys. I'm I'm not gonna say hey guys, but the walking sucks actually. We're gonna have some fun today, so yay! We're fun. gonna start with the foundation. So she goes up with a mess with it. Okay, so we're gonna pause this stuff. So I do have her foundation. My color is 360. Oh my gosh. What did I get at first? I mean, the first ever Rihanna foundation I got, I think it was four something, four or 20, something like that. I don't know. I thought that was my skin tone, but y'all, I look like a burnt orange. I was looking real tan, really tan. And I thought like maybe I could just um, make it fit by putting concealer on, but that did not work. It didn't work at all. Well, I kind of did, but I still was orange, ouch. And this is my new beauty blender by BH Cosmetics. It's a Studio Pro beauty blender. I wanted to bring out the new one for this video. So I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender because I'm not prepared for this video. And um, then I can start putting this foundation on. I had to pull my hair back, <laughs> you guys. So I won't get foundation and stuff all over my hair. I might look like a little elf right now, but yeah. <laughs> and you Vogue bloggers and you Vogue fans. We're gonna have some fun today, so I hope you're ready. We're gonna start with the foundation. So, now let's get messy with it. She likes to get messy with her foundation, so she puts it on her hand. I never do this, this is crazy. This I just like because it's like a safe bet, it's consistent. Okay, she's gonna go quick, so I, I need some time. But oh my gosh, this is crazy. I have never put foundation on my hand. This mirror is from Sephora. It was a gift my friend had um, bought it for me for Christmas. She actually bought me a Sephora uh, gift card because she knew I was into makeup and whatnot. And um, in the little gift card, um, 
thing box. It was a mirror. And I'm like, oh my gosh. This is crazy. I haven't actually worn foundation in a long time, so. Whenever I do my makeup now, I just do my eyebrows and uh, sometimes I put on concealer. And um, put on lipstick or lip gloss and mascara and I call it a day. I hate when I do makeup and I get my nails dirty. Like, ew. <laughs> That is so disgusting. Okay, so now my foundation is fully on. So let's move on. Okay, that's all we have for my face. <laughs> that's how I feel. Very important okay. to contour your face. So she's contouring her face. I like to contour all the way down. And I like to make my contour line thick. I like to give me a nice, like, Kim Kardashian snatch look. Cause you know Kim, she really goes heavy with the contour. Yeah, on every YouTube tutorial, cause everybody has a different shape. I have a huge forehead, so I like to go in a little deeper down here. Okay. Hide that. I don't have a huge forehead, I mean, I think it's pretty average. I got hair covering it and stuff, but ooh, my lace. But I'm gonna do exactly what she does, and I'm going to contour my forehead. Yeah, so uh, what she did. I have never contoured my forehead like this before. I have contoured my forehead, but not like how she does. And I can't really get my full forehead because, um, as you see. My hair is covering my forehead and I don't feel like pushing it back. <laughs> going to the hairline too because I hate to see that, that white line between your forehead She said going to the hairline? I can go into my lace on my wig. <laughs> Contour always starts off looking absolutely crazy. Tell me about it. Change. I look insane. Yes. I learned how to contour when I gained weight. Believe it or not, that's when it comes in real handy. Them fat days and your cheeks looking like baby cheeks. You just got like, see that look? <laughs> My face is in fat. I have like a, a oval little egg peanut head or whatever. So sometimes a little too much contour will make you look kind of crazy. I've never used this brush before, but I love it. It's pretty. My, whip, my best friend bought it for me and um just look at it it's so cute i absolutely love how my camera just cut off on me while i was trying to show you my pretty brush yeah this is my brush that my best friend bought me i love it it's so cute it's like a little unicorn and it's soft and i have never used it but this is gonna be my first time using it because she brushes out her contour to blend it in i usually use my beauty blender because i feel like you can get in there more or whatever and I like how it like blends in with your foundation but she brushes hers so let me see something real quick I like to do all the deeper situations yeah, she just uses I uh, use just <laughs> she just uses a regular brush and um goes in oh my gosh I'm gonna get this pretty brush dirty oh my gosh can I cheat I feel like it's taken five years just to blend in my um contour with a brush I usually just um pat away with my look I'm used to patting away with my um with my beauty blender this right here is hard I have never done this this is gonna take some time Especially because I like to go crazy with my contour. So I put a lot on. So I could just blend it out with the, the blender. But we using a brush. Oh my gosh, I'm tired already. Oh my gosh, my brush is dirty. It was so cute at first. I will say, I think that you can achieve a better contour with a brush. 
I just think with the Beauty Blender, it's way faster. But I think my nose looks way better than it have ever looked. But I like to um, put concealer in the middle of my nose to really pop out the contour. I don't know if she does that, but we will see. Oh, that's deep. That's a really deep contour. Yeah. And you always want to do a triangle when you're doing a contour under there. Give you that whole long neck situation. It just disappears. Give okay, that so she contours underneath of her chin too. And I did not know that she did that. You said like a triangle. Let me see. Do y'all think that did anything? What do you think? <laughs> long neck situation. It just disappears. This I actually like to warm up on my hand first. Just like that. Okay. And then like okay. one little swipe. Hold on, Rihanna. Everybody knows concealer is made for hiding bags and dark circles. And so she says she likes to warm it up on her hand. I have never. Why well, I gotta get warm? Why does it need to be warm? And she said then she swipes. I never knew that. My phone keeps jumping off of tables, which is weird, and I feel like there is a ghost in here. It's a bit weird that it does that. <laughs> it just, I'm telling you, it could be laying flat on the table and it just jumps off the table. I'm like, how could it possibly come off the table? It's kind of scary. If she doesn't do her nose, <laughs> I'm gonna have to cheat and, um, do my nose because I like to have a little bit of concealer down my nose. I just really like that. Hangovers and bad decisions. <laughs> All right here, look here. Okay, I like to put a little bit of my concealer day to day over top really of my depends eyes. on my mood. Depends on the occasion. It depends on how lazy I'm feeling that day. How much in a rush I am. You know. Who I'm going to see. <laughs> it all determines what kind of makeup I do, if I do makeup, and how much makeup I'm going to wear. Uh-huh. True that. Okay, and now we're looking a little smoother. Whoa. All right, I'm going to put on my nose because I'm a little sunburnt right now, so I have a little redness there. Straight up. And down. There we go. Bench. Mattifying this face a little bit because things can get out of control. I She's moving ahead of me. I'm not ready. Yep. Bingo. Up and down the nose. But very long nose, you guys. And I also happen to really love my nose. I think my nose is really cute with and without makeup. Oh, look at that. Snatched. Am I doing a good job, you guys? Like, I feel like I'm just not good at this. I'm not a beauty guru, and I just feel like I'm a little eh. But um, if you like it, let me know. My lips getting a little dry. Like, when I, I didn't put on any type of makeup at all. I wanted to have a dry face for you guys and start from scratch like she did, but my lips, they kind of they kind of chap. It's kind of cold down here, so I don't have any moisture in the air. It's just really cold air. He says she's going to set. I don't use anything to set. I don't have a powder down here to even set with. I don't use setting powder at all. So we're just going to skip past that part. At my contour to set my makeup, to blot. Oh my gosh, when you get greasy on the fly, honey, it is no joke. Always in my purse. I, I can never leave home without this. And if it doesn't fit my purse, then I'm changing my purse. Mm -hmm. Hold purse. Oh, there's an egg. Make sure you wash my eggs. I need to warm up this face a little bit. So I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer. And I go oh. right over that contour. So she does use bronzer. The blend is real. Right here. So I want to see all the parts you have. Finesse on the forehead over here. 
Okay, so she wants to warm up her face. And I understand that. I mean, I don't really warm up my face like that. I don't use bronzer. I only used it today to kind of make my uh, my lace my lace line a little dark and I think I made it too dark that's why it's so visible but um what's it call it I don't really bronze up my face but I do have a bronzer this bronzer is by New York color and it comes with a, a bronzer pad but she's doing it with a brush so that's what I'm gonna do tap off some of that product and I'm going to warm up my face, just go over everything I contoured. Then I'm going to be really, really bronze. Oh my gosh, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't need this much bronzer. I look sunburnt. In certain areas, I look a little sunburnt, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't think bronzer was actually needed so I'm going with my um complexion brush and just kind of like even it out a bit this is by elf by the way Elmo's world why am I singing Elmo's world that makes no sense. How did I even think about Elmo? Yeah, so, um, I really like the complexion brush. I really think it works. I don't know what you really supposed to do with this, but I read, like, the directions on the back, and it was, like, basically you can put it in powder or use it as is and just swipe your face. And, um, it's supposed to, I guess, help even out complexion. I don't know, but I just know that after I go, go across my face with the brush, my face looks a lot better. Or maybe I just want it to look a lot better. I don't know. Okay, wow, she still hasn't done her eyebrows yet and that's gonna take me about 50 years. So I might not do the whole eyebrow process on um, camera just to save battery and um, space on my memory card. Next. Next. Girls. And next. Okay. I am going to use the same See, bronzer and... I knew she was not going to do her brows on camera. So I will start them on camera. But then... Oh, this is not the right um, eyebrow pencil. Okay. I might... Okay, I'll start them on camera. This is also not the right eyebrow pencil. But I'll just go ahead and start my eyebrows. This is from ColourPop, by the way. In the color Bangin' Brunette. So what I do, I just follow my outline and fill in. So I just follow the outline of my eyebrows. I have a weird outline and, you know, what type of eyebrow pencil is this? This is not coming off. I gotta like really be hard just for this to come off. It's not a smooth application. Yeah, I don't like this. I have to go get the right brow pencil. This is the um, Brow Boss pencil and I don't, I just bought it to see how it would work, but I usually use this one. Just the regular brow pencil from ColourPop. They look, okay, they don't look the same. I was about to say they look the same. <laughs> they look the same when the cap is on, but when you take the cap off, they're two different things. I don't like this one. It doesn't come on smooth. Like I'm struggling to get product on my eyebrow. This is what I use. I love it. I've been using it for years. But um, this right here, honey. Yeah, this is not working for me. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back with the eyebrow pencil that I love to use. It's not like the other one. And um, I'm going to show you a little bit how I... What is that? See, I do my makeup way different than Rihanna. So, um, my face is looking a little, uh, not how I like it to look. <laughs> but it's okay. But I'm going to show you guys how I start my brows. Um, they aren't waxed right now. Or plucked into any particular shape. So, it might be a little harder for me to, um, get the perfect brows. 
That's why I take so long on my eyebrows when they're not done. Cause I want them to look good, but my eyebrows are so wild. So as you see, I'm just following the outline of my eyebrows. And I do kind of want to do this off camera though, so I can save battery. But um, if you want an eyebrow tutorial from me, I can give you one. Just not in this video, but I can definitely give you an eyebrow tutorial and um, walk you step by step on how I do my eyebrows, if you like them. But right now I need to um, do them. I can just tell you what I'm about to do. I'm about to just follow my eye, my, my eye line. <laughs> I'm about to follow my outline and fill them in. And then what I do, I conceal with LA Girl. And I'm gonna uh, clean them up and conceal with that. And then I go in with this brush from e.l.f. It's e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. It's a concealer brush, but I don't use it as a concealer brush. Yo, I should probably start using it as a concealer brush. Cause I use this big old brush. Um, where is it at? Oh my gosh, I left it upstairs. Okay, today I will use it as a concealer brush. I usually use this like brush that has like it's small, but the bristle comes out like this a little bit. It's like small but wide, and I use that for my eyebrows. And I could be using this to make them like really precise, but I use this to um fill in the beginning of my eyebrows because I don't like to leave that part blank. A lot of people leave it blank but I don't like doing that. So I go in with this and just like fill it in and then that's my eyebrows. So I'm about to do everything I just told you I'm about to do and yeah. See ya later. Yeah. Okay I'm back from doing my eyebrows after 35 years. <laughs> I had messed up and whatnot. Like I really love to do my makeup in the comfort of my room. So uh doing my eyebrows was kind of a disaster. <laughs> and I was messing up. Like my room is my safe place. Like, do these look fine to you? Are my eyebrows okay? I tried my best. Yeah, so these are my eyebrows for right now. But for this video. After this, I'm going to sleep. It's one o'clock in the morning. I have class in a few hours. So let's get the show on the road. If you hear some sounds in the back, that's the fire, please. I turned it on because it's really cold in this basement. And I turned it off just now, but it's still trying to go off. So it's still fluttering a bit. So if you hear some sounds, that's the fireplace. But let's move on. Warm up my eyes a little bit. See my eyes start wait, to wait, 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 She doing what? Do what now? Next. Brows. And next, brows. I am going to use the same bronzer and warm up my eyes a little bit. Okay, so she used bronzer to warm up her eyes a little bit. So I'm going to take the bronzer and do what she does. Hold up. She... My eyes start to come to life a little bit. So she just puts it in the crease of her eyes. I usually don't do all of this. I just throw on um, eyeshadow. I like to put concealer on my eyelids and then throw some shadow on. I don't really warm it up. Oh, but I see what she's talking about though. Like when you warm it up with the bronzer, your um, your eyelid um, not your eyelid, your brow bone starts to like pop. Ooh. Okay, Rihanna, you better go ahead and teach me something. Wow! She's teaching me how to do makeup. Who is Rihanna? Like, Rihanna is not a singer anymore. She is a makeup guru. She's a beauty guru. She's up here teaching me how to do makeup. I warmed up my eyes. Okay. Feel good. I have been watching women do makeup, I mean, since my mom. And then I started working in an industry where makeup was gonna be a part of my everyday, basically. So I picked up a lot of tips there. And I think the best teacher is, is yourself. You have to yeah. practice on your own face because there are gonna be things that you can do better than makeup artists. Like there's a certain point where they hand you something and you do it because there's there's one way that you like it and one way that it works. For me, that's my brow. 
super, super caught up about my brows and my nose contour. <sighs> because I'm black, you know, that's very special nose. Next, <laughs> very special is going nose. to be. We have cute noses though. Like, I feel like Rihanna is like, really cute. I don't think it's like that, like she tries to say Beach, it is. Please. She's like, okay, hold on, hold on, Rhea. <laughs> but yeah, she keeps saying that her nose is so fat and she likes to contour and whatnot on her forehead. Rhea has a forehead. <laughs> but her nose, I don't think her nose is that big or anything. I think her nose is pretty cute. I think my nose is bigger than hers. It's long and big, but I really love my nose, like, with and without contour. But back to Rhea. Beach, please. Oh. Get it? <laughs> yes, yeah. I get it. I get it. I'm gonna start with the pink on the lids. Okay. She wants so to do pink so on the lids so with her um with her kilowatt highlighter. But um I only have this. I have this. I have the what is it? It's the Mean Money and Hustler Baby. Uh, Hustle Baby. I can't talk. I have Mean Money and Hustler Baby. And that's not pink, but I do want to go for a pinky look. That's why I wear pink, and I knew she was going to do pink because I, I actually seen this video, you guys. Seen it before. But um, I knew she was going to do a pinky look. Did I just go ahead and use some kilowatt on the eyes? Oh my gosh, y'all, my lips are so chat right now. I don't want to put no chapstick on because I feel like when I put chapstick on, it messes up my uh, my lip gloss, or whatever. But um. I'm not sure if I should put, ooh, this is hard. Should I use Kilowatt or go ahead and do pink like she's doing? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, I'm going to use Hustler Baby real quick. So y'all can just see how it looks. I'm going to just set my eyes with um, Hustler Baby. And I'm going to go over it with pink. I don't know if that even makes sense, but yeah. Y'all see that? I don't even know if this is gonna look right, but oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I have a 32 Perfect Colors Knickknack New York. So 32 Perfect Colors Knickknack New York palette. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. There's a lot of pretty colors. Okay. Okay. So, um, she's doing pink. And I think I'm going to just do a bright pink like she's doing. This pink right here. Yeah. Why do I have gold on my eyelids if I'm trying to do pink? This is crazy. Now this looks weird. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is a fail. I was doing so good up until now. Up until now, this looks crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it all over my face. I usually don't have a problem with fallout, but right now, honey buns. Oh my gosh, yo. yo. I'm being careless. This is crazy. <gasps> pink to be all over my face oh wow that's crazy I'm messing up my makeup I came this far doing so good and then I start with the shadow and I just start messing up eyeshadow is also something I spend a lot of time on when I'm doing my makeup because I feel like if your eyeshadow is looking crazy your look is gonna look crazy I don't think you can just slap eyeshadow on one so I do really like to blend it out Make sure it's even on both eyes. Make sure it's the same amount of product on both eyes. I'm done with my eyes. Rihanna, how dare you pick pink? Because my face is destroyed now. My face is destroyed. So I might go over my face with a uh, with, uh, concealer. Hold up. I always check my mirror in my phone. If your makeup looks good on your camera, then you're good to go. Because um, I have a iPhone 10, but even when I didn't have a 10, when I had like the regular iPhone, like not the regular, but the um, when I had the iPhone before the 10, that 10X, I still always check my makeup in my camera. 
and put on the flash because I feel like your camera picks up everything. And sometimes the mirror can be very deceiving even when you have really good light. So I actually look pretty cute. Flash on my eyebrow. Oh, it don't look too bad. You can't even see the pink on my face. So maybe that means y'all can't even see what I'm talking about. I'm sitting here oh, crying about pink on my face and y'all can't even see it. But okay, let's move on. Love, drama, bitches. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she's adorable. She's so cute. That was easy. Oh, so she's going like, back into it with um with bronzer. I was just about to say maybe I should do that. Go back in with bronzer. And I just love how she said this was easy. When I struggled with mine, I struggled with my shadow so bad. And she's all like, so easy. I'm like, gosh. Like, honey, hun bun, teach me your ways. <laughs> Cause I'm struggling over here. And I'm just wiping off my brush though. She's taking a bronzer and going underneath her eyes. She loves bronzer, I will tell you that. Cause I don't do this stuff. And I don't I don't use a lot of bron I don't use a lot of products. Like I say, like lately I haven't even been using foundation. And she keeps going to this bronzer. I have to blend that out. This is the fun part. I'm gonna use the same palette. Blush is also something that depends on your mood. You wow. Know, sometimes you're trying to give a little natural vibe, give a little bronze, like a little hint. And then sometimes you just want to go egg, like like right now. Like, I want to give you guys a vibe, my vibe. Okay, summer. well maybe I should have just left the pink on my face. She wants to do blush. Okay, so my camera died on me when I was doing the blush situation. And blush situation. And as you know, I tell you, I, I don't know about the blush because it was a little crazy. It was a little pink. Well, it was supposed to be pink, but it was really pink. But I continued to put it on. As the camera charged, I just put it on my face. And um, it was really, really pink. Even when I kept like rubbing it in. So I took my favorite brush. This complex. Ooh. I'm sitting on a brush. I took this complexion brush from e.l.f. and I just did that. Bow, 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 so I could um, get it to blend in more. And I actually don't mind it. Like, I don't mind the blush. I think it's um, a cute little touch. It's not too bad, but my face is looking so bronze. My face never really looks this bronze because. I don't put on this much bronzer. So let's finish out this tutorial before my camera decides to die again. Cause I'm only on like 50%. Here's your face and there are your cheeks. See? And there are your Since cheeks. you smile, you know exactly where to put that, okay? I'm gonna stop now. I know you guys yeah. know it. Please stop, Ree. This really like cool brush, which I like to call my sharp toothbrush, but it's a cheek cutting brush. It's made perfectly. I gotta order some more fancy. I want to try some of this. Oh, so mm -hmm. we're highlighting now. Wow. Okay, yeah, my face is just gonna be. Oh, I'm telling you, we're putting on so much product today. I do have her highlighters, like I showed you, and I usually always put on the Hustler Baby because I feel like the um Mean Money. I just feel like it's really light and not like it's light. And not like shiny and pretty like it's just kind of like you see that it's like ashy just ashy white it doesn't look shimmery and then you have hustler baby and let me swatch that and you see how shimmery that is and how like pretty compared to the um hustler baby hustler baby is just like dry i would think that would be like i don't know like a setting powder like I mean, not hustle, baby. I mean, money is the dry one. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna just go crazy. Look at Reface. 
<laughs> she's so excited that she's putting on a highlight. She's like, oh my gosh. So yeah, I'll just put a lot. I'm putting a lot on because she likes to put a lot on. I have her um highlighter sticks too. I do like using the highlighter stick like up and down my nose. And on my cheeks sometimes. Like I kind of stop. I stop doing cheek highlight. I don't do that anymore. I usually just highlight my nose and call it a day. When I first got like my um Fenty Beauty highlight, I went I went crazy. I would highlight my nose, my cheeks, my my brow bone, but I never really liked how it turned out. I was just like highlight is kind of unnecessary <laughs> cuz I just didn't really like it. I would highlight my cupid's bow. Let me do that. She ain't do that, but I just really wanted to do that. Oh my gosh, I wanted that. I was like, what is that product? Because when she released this video, it wasn't out at the time. And then she released the, um, the product. And I really want that. Like a shimmer, a little shimmer gloss thing. I don't know what it's called. But I always do the corner of my eyes too. And I feel like it would be so much easier to have that. Is it straight? Like I told you, I don't do makeup tutorials and stuff. So I'm still trying to figure this all out. So... I just realized I should have been sitting like this the whole time so I could have the mirror in my face but you could still see my face because sitting like this um, I don't think it's good for me or you. <laughs> Let's continue. Look at that. Bam. Oh you so oh, cute Bri. Okay the lashes. Next, I want to do <laughs> lips. This looks Okay, so I think she has falsies on. I have really long lashes already. So, let's see. I just use anything to make them darker and longer. <laughs> but uh, I really love the Dior mascara. Oh my gosh. Dior mascara makes your eyelashes pop. But I ran out of it. So I do really, I highly recommend the Dior Mascara. If you do not have Dior Mascara, what are you doing? Dior Mascara is perfect. I love it. But um, we're going to use this. It's called the Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara. And it's by, who is it by? <laughs> oh, there you go. L'Oreal Paris. So you know, it's, it's a drugstore mascara. So what they have, I usually just use the black side. Why can I say usually? Usually, I just, I usually, <laughs> I usually just use the black side, but I'm gonna show you how you use the white side. So you take this and it just helps bring out the lashes. Ooh, in here. So you just take it, put on your lashes. Then the lashes. I like to take my my lashes sideways because I like to fan them out like this. My friends they always ask them, like, "Are you wearing falsies?" Or like when I'm out, some people ask me, "Am I wearing eyelashes?" I'm like, "No, they're mine," because I just take it. I take this and I just brush out my lashes. I fan them out to make them look like. They're fake. I don't keep them together. That's the tip because if you keep your lashes together, they're not gonna look real long. Even if you have a good product, they're still not gonna look hecka long. It gives you that like dramatic Hollywood look. Like they'll still look popping. They'll still look okay. But if you want that glamorous Hollywood look, you gotta spread your lashes out. Don't leave them clumped up together because when they're clumped up together, no, you can't really tell. So you gotta fan them out. I don't feel like a lot of people do that. Fan your lashes out. And I do my bottom lashes too. That also brings out your eyes when you do your bottom lashes. Bottom lashes are everything. I used to just do my top lashes. But when I started doing my bottom lashes. Oh my gosh. 
it just brings out the whole look. Eyelashes really help the look. Do I like my lashes? Eyelashes will really help your look, I'm telling you. It'll bring a look to life. Like right now, I look fine, I look okay. But once I get this mascara on, y'all gonna be like, who the heck are you? Like I can already see the transformation. And all I have on is the white scara and I'm just like, wow. Like look at Reed. Let's unpause Reed real quick. Like it's in the vein of what I'm trying look. to do. It looks pink right here. It just popped her whole look out. It's like we've been looking at her do her makeup for a long time. And it's like, oh, you're cute. You look good. It's cute. And then she put on a freaking mascara and she turned into a whole Hollywood glam diva. I spent a lot of time on my lashes and that's why they be looking fake. Because I spent so much time on them. You would have thought I slept on some falsies. The gold, look how much it that is really so pretty. But what I have is I have her oh! gloss bomb. Yikes! <laughs> I have her gloss bomb and Guys, I have her I mean, galaxy. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, read, 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 read. My computer is loud, so turn her down a little bit. I have her Fenty Beauty, what is this called again? Cosmic Gloss. So this is from my Kello Galaxy collection. So I don't have the little gold. And I kind of wish I did because I feel like the gold goes with the look. You know, because I'm just really like shimmery and gold. But this is the gloss bomb, but I'm not going to use that. I do have that on my lips though because my lips are like real, real chap and I could not wait for my camera to charge and do that. So we're going to use this. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Everything that Rihanna has is just heck of pigmented. Okay. That is really pigmented. It's really pretty. So pretty. I think we're done. What's left of this video, Ray? Right? Mm, she's so pretty. We're so pretty. We're twins. Voila. Voila. Oh, she put in the shimmer on her body. Look, uh, I got. I don't have that, but I have highlight and um. My body not really out, but she said, she said put some highlight on. I got her. You're going to put some on the collar. I don't have body lava, so. Put it on your neck. Yes, pop out the veins in your neck. Oh, my face is actually really pretty. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I I am really happy that I did this. Rihanna walked me through how to do my makeup. This is insane. This is crazy. My favorite person taught me how to do my makeup. I would never thought that Rihanna would teach me how to do my makeup. She got me looking pretty. We're just we're just so gorgeous. Wherever Rihanna's going, I'm going. I can do more of these if you like them. And they'll be like better next time. Like I can do Kylie. Do Kylie's routine and Kindles and Gigi's and yeah. I would like to follow more routines. So if you want to see me follow more routines, let me know. If you want to see me follow Kylie's, Gigi's, whoever there is. Aaliyah J's, anybody, I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. I actually had fun doing this. Um, there was something new and I'm learning and I know now uh, after I watch this back what not to do and what to do and <laughs> all that but I mean it wasn't that bad. I thought this was going to be a disaster. I thought my face was going to turn out horrible because I hate doing makeup on camera. I like being comfortable in my own room. Um, I also thought I was going to mess up. I thought this was going to go wrong. I thought that I would be putting fail in the title. And everybody was going to be laughing at me. But um, I think I followed it, you know, well. 
I made things work. I followed every step. I didn't skip over any step. The only step I skipped over was the uh, setting powder because I don't use setting powder and I'm also gonna sleep and there's no point in setting my makeup. But everything else, um, yeah, I did it and I really do like my face. Uh, it's really pretty. I love the makeup. I love everything Rihanna did. I love her tips. I learned from her. It's gorgeous. I love it. Like, I don't even want to stop talking because I just really like my face. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, this is it. I hope you really like my tutorial because I really like my tutorial. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share me. Well, share us. Lexi isn't here, but you, you get the point. Share us with your friends and family or whatever because we're lit. I'm lit and there's more to come. Maybe Lexi will do one. And that would be pretty cool. And that's pretty much it. You know, watch our ads. Help us, you know, get up there. Like I said, I want the production to be better. I want to be on a James Charles, you know, production. That's how clear I want my videos and stuff like that. But I'm rambling. But this is the end of my video. I was about to say my reaction video. I'm so used to saying that. But this is the end of my video. I hope you guys liked it. And Diamond Dorissa is out. Whoa. I don't know what to dab out, you guys. I'm forgetting all the basics of how to do my YouTube channel. Well, I go out now. I don't dab out. I don't dab out. But I'm going. Yeah. Ooh, I'm